careful not to be a picture of agony with nervous impulses and look like a communication meltdown. You need to thrive under the burden of fear and single-handedly carry the load. Without practice, which breeds confidence, you're on a collision course between fear and fate. Always remember, rain falls on all of us, and your audience knows that, which means there will be a certain amount of forgiveness. We have all made a wrong turn, a false move, or a fatal encounter, but your audience has never met you and have no idea what you are going through. They came to see you because they were interested. If you are not interesting, they will turn away or in the worst case, leave. There is always hope within you to make your talk great and if your talk is well planned, you'll never accept or taste defeat. Fear is a lifestyle change, which means you need to trust yourself. In planning your talk, never underestimate the intelligence of your audience. Practice will help you feel safe and have faith in your ability. Use this as a stepping stone. It's as much about your mindset as it is about your giftedness. So if you are not on offense, you are on defense, and that is not a place you want to be. So the principle here is, it's always important to finish your talk not only to be impressive, but more importantly, what makes it poignant. Be pulled not only by your words, but by your heart.